Can I ask something? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Do we have the data on how many uh, we have? How many of our attendants today are new attendants that they have not? Uh, At the moment, uh, today we have about uh, eighty percent of new that uh, did not sign up the contract, that did not attend the webinar before. So we have about 80% of the agents. So at the moment, we have 44 agents with us today. And uh, this is very, very good. Uh, so I think uh, we can start, we can share, and you can share the screen, Sandra, and we can start with the presentation of the university in Greece, which is called the European Law and Governance School located in Athens, Greece, Europe. So again, thank you very much everyone to join. Let's start with the webinar. Teacher, do you want to, to uh, share the, the video or should I go in? No, the, in... I will share the video with them independently after Perfect. one okay. session by email so they can look into it. Let's go directly to, to the very important part. Ladies and gentlemen, why we have this workshop today, I think it's very important for you to understand. First of all, is because um, we had an experience, as I explained in, in, in the previous uh, workshop, um, in working with Greece. We had a workshop in Greece as well about one month ago, and we welcome agents from Pakistan, from India, from Nepal, to give an idea. And they attend, they visit the campus, they was very, very happy. And uh, now um, we understand as well how we get the visa for your students and how to work on this. And this is very important for you to understand and especially the timing. So we need around um, five to six months to get a visa for your students for Greece. So this is the reason why we have this workshop now in July, because we are offering the foundation program in February 2025. So that means that you need to start to enroll your students now in July, in August, in September, in order that in September, in the month of September, of September after the holiday in Greece, the staff of the university is able to interview your students. So in September, when they come back from, from the holidays, they will start to interview your students in order to see if they are eligible to enter into the university for the foundation program. The foundation program is divided in two parts. One is foundation for the one who need to do the bachelor program, so the three years program, which will start then in October 2025. And one is for the one who need to do the master. So we have a pre-master, which we call this foundation as well, start in February 2025. So when they finish, they will be able to start with the master program directly in October 2025. So again, for the one who just joined us in the last second, uh, we have this workshop today because we need five to six months to get the visa for entry in Greece. So you need to start to apply the students in uh, July, August, September, in order that the university is able to do the interview in September to see if your students are eligible. Now, the foundation program costs 4,000 euro, 4,000 euro, okay? And um, you will get your commission, which is 20%, very simple. And uh, your students will pay after the visa. When you register the students, you need to pay only the registration fee, which is 50 euro, and you pay this online directly. Very simple, very simple. So your students can do the foundation course. You pay 50 euro when you register the students. And then after the university will organize the interview to see if your candidate is eligible. In order that your candidate is eligible, we will send you a credibility questionnaire which you need to read and you need to share this to your students. So your students, before that you apply your students, they need to do to the credibility questionnaire that we send to you. The students need to prepare themselves in a very good way. So when they have the interview, they will pass the interview. 
The English level for the foundation course is 4.0 on IELTS. I repeat, 4.0 on IELTS. So that means that uh, you, you, if you have students with a lower English level, you can still apply to them. But it's very important for you to understand that these students uh, need to speak English when they have the interview, because if they don't speak English, then it will be very difficult that they will be accepted. So this is the basis for the foundation for the bachelor program or for the master program. So we call this pre-master foundation and foundation for the bachelor. So we have two different classes. One is for the bachelor foundation and one is for the master foundation, starting in February. And uh, the deadline to register is logically as soon as possible. So because the time to get the visa is around five to six months. So we calculate September, October, November, December, January, February, six months, perfect. So this is the reason why we start immediately now. So what program they offer on the bachelor program, and I will pass now to Sandra, she will explain you exactly what kind of bachelor the university is offering in Athens. Sandra, the floor is all yours now. Okay, so uh, just a couple of things before I share with you the programs. This is an international school. It, it uh, is based in Athens, Greece, but not only, it is also based in Portugal uh, and in Italy. In Italy, there is no campus at the moment. It is just the headquarters of the school. In camp We have a campus in Portugal, in Cascais, and we have a campus in Athens. We are more interested in the campus in Athens through this presentation. So what happens? This is an international school. It is uh, operated by an international organization. And the titles are acknowledged also by Italy and by Greece. So they are acknowledged uh, in general in Europe. Undergraduate courses, uh, we have, I think, with us Panorea as well. Panorea is my colleague uh, in uh, the educational department of all EPLO education activities. And she is like the director general of uh, the education. She can help us. But uh, I would like to explain that we have two disciplines only, European and international law and governance. Only two disciplines, no business, no computing, no nothing of that. These two disciplines, the European and international law uh, is uh, done in an undergraduate level. You can see here the degrees. Business, uh, so it's a bachelor in European governance. It's an LLB in European law. LLB is the degree for legal studies, bachelor also in European law and governance, which is a combo degree. So a student there can select two years from one uh, discipline and one year from the other, whichever they choose best. So you can have a bachelor's degree in general, either in European governance, either uh, or in uh, European law or in both. And then in the postgraduate degrees, you have some more options. Of course, European governance, of course, European law and international law, but also one more degree, international economic law, which is a degree very well linked to the World Trade Organization, talking about trade, economy, uh, and policies there. And we also have one more degree offered in Portugal in global rule of law and democracy. This global rule of law is a more theoretic degree. It is about people's, people that have already a degree in law and they are interested in the theoretic background of the rule of law in different countries. And we also have research degrees. We have a master's there, which is a one year master's. And this uh, one year master's is research. So they we match with a professor and they do a research on a specific topic. And this can be like the first year of the PhD if they are 
pro they are accepted by the committee, by the jury that will check on their thesis and the research proposed. Uh, so what, what you see here are the degrees, and also I would like to um, specifically say that it is not for all, it is just for the people who want to go into legal uh, firms, into institu institutions worldwide outside of their home country or in their home country, in the governance, for example, in governmental institutions that they can help with public uh, public law knowledge, with public policy knowledge. So that is what they have. And if they want to do business with Europe, any company that wants to do business with Europe will have to have a specialized person there for European law. So it is quite wide. You might not be interested in working in Europe, but companies and uh, govern, governments that want to work with Europe, they need to understand the European context. So that is what we are offering. Thank you, Sandra. Very, very good the explanation. The program is in English in Greece. Eh? So the program for everyone- The program is in English. The school is called European Law and Governance. I'm sharing now with you here. It's called Sad Euro European Law and Governance School. And the EPLO is, European Public Law Organization, EPLO, is the name of the organization that is operating the school. We are not a Greek institution, as we said before. We are an international organization. So it, it, we are in Greece, but uh, it's not that we offer Greek courses or Greek law, not at all. Perfect. This was very important to share this information, Mrs. Panoraya. Nice to welcome you here back to the workshop as well. I hope everything is fine at your end in Greece. I know that you're suffering the hot at the moment over there, very warm. Thank you to all the agents. We are now 58 agents with us today. This is the third workshop we have. I can see that some of the agents already start to put some questions on the chat system. As you can see here, we have a chat system on Zoom. So if you have any questions, just write down and we will be more than happy to answer you all the questions that you may have. Very important. Now let's go to a very uh, fundamental point of everything. If you have a students who want to do a master and uh, what kind of bachelor they, they need to have, uh, Sandra or Mrs. Panoraya, you know, if you study art and design, I don't think you can do a master in law. So this has to be very, this has, should be clarified to everyone. Okay, uh, if, if uh, a student wants to do a master's degree in law, in European law or international law, they should have a degree in legal studies and specifically, they should have, uh, they must have taken in their undergraduate courses European law to have a background. If they don't have a background in European law, but they do have a degree in legal studies, they can do the foundation, the pre-master's foundation. And they, they through the pre-master's foundation, they will get all the background they need for European law. So this is resolved. The, uh, the foundation is co course is four months, only four months. It starts in February, it finishes end of May. And we are now talking about February 2025, which is the initiation of the foundation course. What here you can see the entry requirements for any degree. It is similar to the foundation course, sorry for that. Similar to the foundation, you can have uh, the, the entrance in the foundation and the same part of the material can be used also for the degree afterwards. They ne we need a high school degree or an undergraduate degree if it is uh, depending on the level of education we are seeking for, a completed online education, uh, sorry, application form. Please, please take into consideration we do not want uh, the applications sent to us by email. We want them online. I had the several cases where uh, agents from previous webinars sent me applications and uh, 
specific um, uh, data from their students on, uh, via email. We do not want that. We just want an online application where you upload everything. You also go into the registration uh, fee of 50 euros, which is a non-refundable registration fee. You can do that via the payment portal of the APLO by credit card or you can do by bank deposit, whatever you want. And we will also need the passport or the ID of the student, the transcript of records, the certificate of proficiency in English. Uh, for the degrees, it's 5.5 IATS, and for the foundation, it's four uh, IATS grades. And of course, a personal statement where the student explains why uh, they want to follow this degree, what they want to, to do in their careers, in their lives, why do they aspire this type of studies, and what are their personal uh, strengths. And of course, uh, reference letters, one in general or two, depending on the level of studies, uh, one should be by academic, by an academic. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you to clarify this point. So welcome to the new agent who just joined us today. I just remind everyone we are here to discuss about the foundation first. We will start in February. So with the foundation, you can start with a 4.0 on IELTS or equivalent. While uh, after they finish, they will reach the good level of 5.5 in order to enter automatically in the bachelor program or in the master. So this is just to clarify, to the, you have the possibility to enroll your student directly for the bachelor, absolutely for October 2025 or for the master 2025. You don't have to enroll them to the foundation course, uh, but um, uh, today, uh, this this event is uh, because we want to inform about the foundation course, uh, so that the entry level is much lower, is uh, is a four point zero or equivalent. Equivalent it mean they can do TOEFL, they can do Cambridge. Uh, they have there are many English um, certificate at the moment. They can do it. So this is uh, one strategy in order for you to get more clients. You know, if they have a lower English level and maybe as well a lower academic level, then you can enroll them directly at the foundation program. And the, the tuition fee is only 4,000 euros, so is affordable for everyone. And the tuition fee is to pay after the visa. It's only the registration fee of 50 euros to pay when you register the students online. In refer of the fee of the bachelor, the fee of the bachelor as indicated here in October 2025 is uh, 9,900 for the LLB and the BA, and for the master is 30,000 euro, and for the LLM is 20,000 euro. So no, what uh, just me to make a clarification. Yes, please. The the bachelor degrees, all the bachelor degrees are 9,900 yes. per year. Yes, yes. Three, we have three year degrees for the bachelors. Three year, not uh, not four, three. And for the master's degrees, normal price is 13,000. But we have only one LLM, which is the International Economic Law LLM, which is a peculiar for the World Trade Organization. And this is 20,000. But this is separate. We also have an LL, uh, sorry, an, a master's degree in Tascais, Portugal, because it is a very new degree. We have a special price there, 4,900. 4, so this is also, I told you, it is not for everybody. It is for people who want to compare the rule of law in different countries. And it is a special price for this year because it's new. It's uh, just been initiated this year and it's going to uh, also work for next year. One more clarification. Our, uh, our applications are also open for 2024, for the October intake of 2024. But uh, you might not have time to register for a visa process. That is why we have also opened the 2025 applications. You can do whatever you think you can manage. Logically, uh, if you have clients that 
want to start a master in 2024 or a bachelor, more than welcome. Just we need to, you need to know that the time for the visa is quite long. Besides, you're coming from Europe. I can see we have agents from Europe. They don't need any visa. So they can easily start in October without any problem. So all the agents come from Europe, welcome, by the way. Great to welcome you here today. Um, you can, uh, of course, apply online directly and you can start, you know, so your student can start in October. Uh, just to maybe clarify this point, uh, this is very, very important. The bachelor is uh, like a four months uh, program, start from February for four months and the bachelor is a three years program while the master is a one-year program, correct, Sandra? It's one, it's one, the master, it's one year taught classes, but you, students have also one semester, one more semester to write their thesis. Okay, so technically it's one and a half years. Uh, this is um, very important for everyone to understand. All the applications should be done online. Maybe, Sandra, you can share uh, the link where they have to do the application online. You will receive a copy of this, um, of this um, PowerPoint presentation. You just need to follow the instruction. It's very simple. You just go step by step and you just click on and then you can apply the students. Now let's go to the commission part. This is what many agents ask me. So let's go with the foundation. The foundation, the commission is 20%. So the commission for the foundation is 20%. Uh, so everyone is very clear on this. Now the commission for the bachelor is 30% on the year one. So on the year one is 30%. On the year two is 20%. And on the year three is 20%. So technically you have an excellent commission. If you calculate that the tuition fee for the bachelor is 9,900 uh, with the three years of commission, you, 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 re you receive around 7,000 euro commission, just to give an idea. And this is very, very good. On top of that, if you have students for the foundation, you get additional 800 euro because it's 20% commission of 4,000. Now, uh, for the foundation course deadline, please do not look the 10 January 2025, not for you, not for the one outside Europe. For the European, yes, but for the one outside Europe, uh, should be September. September is the limit where you have to apply the students. Uh, so we have enough time to interview your candidate and to start the visa process. The school is offering assistance to every agent uh, who need to have assistance for the visa. Or is this coming from Pakistan or from Colombia or from any country in the world? The, uh, the school is offering assistance. They will send a letter in Greece directly to the Greek embassy, like they did for Pakistan, for example. They send a letter in Greek uh, to, to the Pakistani, to the Greek embassy in Islamabad. And uh, now we manage. Uh, I think shortly to have a meeting directly inside at the Greek embassy in Islamabad with one of the agents who really was very convinced uh, and um, we know him since a long time. So we, he will have a meeting with uh, the Greek embassy in Islamabad in Pakistan. So the same is for you. If you need some help, assistance, just write us an email and uh, Sandra and Panoraya will assist you in the send letter to the Greek embassy and support your students for getting the visa. Now, logically, um, the, the tuition fee is to be paid after the visa, but uh, this is okay for the school. But if a country requests that your students need to pay a deposit in advance to the school, then you need to follow what the embassy is requesting. So for the school, there is no problem. You can pay after the visa is absolutely not a problem. But then after it will change by country to country. For example, I, I made a, an experience last time with Brazil. We had a, a situation where the embassy in Brazil tell, no, you have to pay 50% deposit. After you pay 50% deposit, we will uh, go forward with the visa. So 
this is a decision that uh, the embassy in Brazil made and uh, the agents in Brazil respect this. Again, this has nothing to do with the school. The school accepts the money after the visa. But if the embassy is telling you, if you want to, to receive the visa, you need to pay 50% deposit in advance, you have to follow the instruction of the embassy. This must be very, very clarified to everyone. So uh, I want to repeat one more time as well for the one who join us late. We will send a credibility uh, questionnaire. I, want, I, need, I invite you all to read this credibility questionnaire and share this with your students. So your students need to go through the questionnaire in details. So they will be ready for the interview when they receive an interview made from the school in Greece because every candidate will get an interview. So we invite you to explain to the students to be on time for the interview. Is the meeting is 11 o'clock, the student should be there at 10.50. The student should be there with an excellent internet connection, with a computer, not with a mobile phone, very important, with a computer, with the camera on, with the microphone on, and they should know how to use Teams or Zoom because uh, every- Zoom, we, Zoom. we use more Zoom. You use more Zoom, okay. So they should know how to use Zoom, how to put the camera on, how to put the microphone on. So we invite you to explain this in advance to the students, very important. Last year, we had more than 50% of the students who came late who was not able to open Zoom, who was not able to open the camera. So the examiner from the school was waiting half an hour, 45 minutes uh, until the student was ready. So we invite you, you are all professional. I don't have to explain this to you. We invite you to explain this to your students, to go through the credibility interview questionnaire that we will send you by email, read every single step share this with your students, make sure that your students understand everything and ready to answer every single question. And more important, if you apply the students today, you have to pay 50 euro today, not in one week's time, not in one month's time, not send email back and forward. Can we pay tomorrow? Can we pay? So you Yes. One moment. <laughs> Okay, please remain always on mute modality. Thank you very much. Uh, back uh, one, to... one, uh, one uh, one uh, interference, uh, Richard. Yes, um, we only have uh, for the degree courses, we have only have one intake, and it is in October for the foundation courses, also one intake, and it is in February. And uh, uh, also about um. The English, the, the, school, the students that already had uh, studies in English, then they are exempt from the certification of the English language, uh, but we need a certification that they, their studies were in English, of course. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this is very, very important. Thank you for this. But uh, I just go back one more time on the registration part, uh, Sandra and... Uh, so when you apply online, uh, you need to follow exactly the instruction request by the school. Very simple, do not send application by email, by WhatsApp, by fax, by messenger, by Facebook, but only the online as indicated here. It's very simple. And when you apply the students, on the same day, you need to pay the 50 euro uh, registration fee. Very simple, that's it. Do not register today and pay two weeks later or send email to the school, no. When you apply, just apply and pay 50 euro. If you don't have the 50 euro from the student or the student cannot pay, then wait. That do not apply today and pay in, a, in two weeks time, etc. Because it gets a lot of email for nothing and a lot of administration work for, for nothing. And um, so we have to really work in a very smoothly way so that the university can work on the file of the candidate. All the communication with the school is made via email, not via WhatsApp. 
because the school need to have a, a CRM system so they can follow every single correspondence. Because it's not only Sandra working in the school or only Mrs. Panoraya, but there are many people working. So everyone needs to understand how is the situation of the file or the communication. So everything is done exclusively via email. So just to make this very, very clear, it's very important. But your work is, you get out of commission at the end of the day. You get three years, four year commission, foundation, year one, year two, and year three. So this is an excellent. Your work is only to prepare the candidate. Just share to them the creativity interview, make sure they understand everything, make sure they are ready, they are on time, 10 minutes in advance for the interview. This is it, nothing else. And then Richard, after, if, yes. if, they are, if the student is not suitable for us, then don't send it to us. Send it to another maybe, uh, university. Because this school is an international organization school. It cannot, it is a small school, and it cannot afford to have students. I mean, it will be either banned by us or by the visa authorities. They are even more careful with, with the, whom to come. I mean, you know, uh, in Greece, now they are opening. They are opening uh, their, their, um, uh, their doors to education. But they have to have good candidates so as not to block the country from coming uh, from new candidates. So it's to your benefit to also have good students, students for suitable for this specific university uh, that will stay in the university and it is to your benefit that they will continue with their studies. Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, no, it's very important. We're talking about genuine students because it's very important when you send students, uh, they are very genuine. I'll make you some example. Last year, um, the examiner of the school interviewed some students. I will not tell you from which nationality because I don't want to offend nobody. But some students came and they say, or they ask, so why did you apply for, for Greece? And they say, yeah, because I'm looking for a job. Avoid. So you have to make very clear to your students, do not apply and then during the interview or as well, not in the interview, but in the second stage, they're looking for a job. No. If you have to make sure they are genuine students, uh, so or we had some case and they the, the first thing they asked said, can I bring my spouse? Avoid, avoid. So you have to explain to your students if they want to go to Europe, in Greece, they have the possibility. The tuition fee is very low compared to the UK. For me, for an example, is four thousand euro for a foundation. Is nine thousand nine hundred euro for a bachelor. I think the, the tuition fee is very, very low compared to the UK, to give an idea, or Canada, US, Australia. So this is a possibility, but then they need to be very genuine. Logically, in a second stage, after one year, they are studying Greece, everything is fine. If they, be, if they want to bring the spouse to Greece, they can do the application. But this has nothing to do with the school. The, the school is only focused on recruitment of students. So they will not come back to you and explain you how to apply the spouse, this and that. No, just to clarify this point, this is very, very important. But logically, you can bring your spouse, you still can bring your spouse, but after one year, they can do the application process. This doesn't mean that will be accepted because logically they need to have enough financial to, to, to cover the cost for the spouse, just to clarify this point. Now, uh, how much money the, the Greek embassy is requesting? Usually we go out uh, in a point should be around 1,000 euro per, per month, just to, let's say 12,000 euro. 12,000 euro should be 10, 12,000 euro should be the perfect amount. Your student should have deposit in the home country in a bank. This is uh, what we always suggest to everyone. So before you are going to the Greek embassy, maybe use a visa agency in your home country. They are more expert to go for the visa process. If you need some assistance, just send a short email to the school. The school is more than happy to send a copy 
of uh, the confirmation letter in Greece directly to the Greek embassy. The cooperation is here in every part, from the school side, from our side, but it should be as well from your side. Checking that the student is genuine, checking that the student has enough financial that he can uh, cover his cost for studying in Greece, uh, make sure that he will not escape after he arrives in Greece, uh, make sure that uh, he go to the credibility interview, read everything in detail and be ready for the interview. We only ask about this. The commission will be paid uh, usually after um, as every month, Within two months. I mean, uh, within, after payment. Yes, uh, within two months. Uh, and uh, the living expenses and, found, and funds, uh, as I mentioned, we suggest around 10,000 uh, to 12,000 euro per year. This is uh, the living expenses uh, to have an idea. In refer of the accommodation, maybe we, we can share some additional information about this, Sandra, so yes. that everyone is very clear on this, that they have the support and the help from the school as well for the accommodation. And this is for you a good point, a good selling point as well. Yeah, let me go to the specific. I just want to remind, uh, remind everyone that about one month ago, we had a fam trip and we visited the campus in Athens. Uh, agents came from Pakistan, from Nepal, from India. They visited the campus in Athens and they visited as well the second campus in Legrana, which is about one hour and 20 minutes from Athens. And in Legrana, they have as well guest house for the international students. And uh, the agent was very, very happy to visit the campus. Uh, and we will uh, reorganize the same event back in uh, October uh, this year. Sandra, mm. okay. Hey, just to, to explain a little bit, uh, in, uh, we have two campuses as already explained. I will show you some photos. One campus here in Athens is in Legrena, in Sunion. This is the campus in Legrena. It has also a separate building as a guest house with 15 renovated rooms. We are now renovating. And uh, this means that uh, 40 students can stay in uh, our Legrena premises within the campus. Uh, 40 students up to the total because we have single, double or triple occupancy. The cost of rent uh, at the Legrena campus is uh, 350 for single occupancy uh, euros per month and 600 euros per month for double occupancy. Sorry. Uh, the, the other way, yes. The other way, sorry. I'm, I'm 600 for single, yes. For single occupancy and 350 for double occupancy. And uh, uh, you also have a, an extra fee of 150 euros if they are commuting from the Athens, from Athens. So if your students may stay in Athens, but we will uh, commute them to Legrena each day and, and take them back to Athens, uh, but with a fee of 150 euros per month. This is the guest house. It is now being renovated. It has um, also, as you may see here, it is by the sea, by the Aegean Sea, and it has a campus of... Um, uh, with tennis courts, with uh, full uh, uh, full facilities, uh, kitchen, and so on. Uh, we also have premises in Athens, in the center of Athens, for the postgraduate at the moment, but uh, still this remains to be uh, clarified for 2025 that we are talking about. Uh, it might be that all courses are, will be done by Ilegrena. Uh, so this is just for you to see. This is in the center of Athens, in the old part of Athens. We also have some courses there. It could be the summer courses or the postgraduate. And this is in Cascais, Portugal. It is uh, also by the sea. This is our premises in Cascais, Portugal. Uh, we, all, we are also by a very nice city, one hour from Lisbon. So that is all. Thank you, Sandra. Now, as we always say, we leave uh, one of the best at the end of the workshop. Uh, so for the one who stay with us, this 55 agents who are with us today, 53 agents, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Portugal, we have a new location uh, with the school has now in Portugal and they offer 
only a one master and the master cost only 4,900 euro. So very difficult. You find me a master in Europe on this price, 4,900 euro. You still get your 20% commission is in Portugal. Portugal welcome a lot of students from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, from India at the moment, Sri Lanka, Nepal, a lot from South America as well. So this is something, but they have one master, no bachelor, no other master, no foundation, only master. And the master in Portugal is in, gro in global rule of law and democracy, very important. This cost only 4,900 euro, still open for this October, 2025. So if you're thinking about, uh, you have some students who maybe was rejected to study in the UK, this is a, so a solution. The application fee is always the same, 50 euro. When you apply the students, uh, you have an online application system, just follow the online application system for Portugal. And uh, then after there will be an interview and after the interview, if the student is accepted, let's move on. This master in Portugal is available this year, but as well next year for the same price. So you can still start to promote this as well for 2025, if you think it's too late for you now for 2024. And uh, this is something that uh, maybe can help you a lot to to welcome more students is a selling point. Portugal, by the way, is a selling point. The price as well is a master, is a one-year master. Correct, Sandra? Correct. This is a one-year master. And uh, yeah, I think uh, you should consider different options here. You have the foundation, 4,000 euros starting February. You have the master, 4,900 starting October this year and next year. And uh, the commission is good. It's 20% for the foundation. It's 20% for the master in Portugal. It's 30% for the bachelor starting in October this year and October next year on the year one. It's 20% on the year two and it's 20% on the year three. For the master is always 20% commission. So I think uh, this is uh, what we want to explain to all of you today. I can see that some of the agents really show interest and ask about where is located uh, the where is located the the embassy in in Bangladesh. So far, uh, I remember the embassy is located inside the Italian embassy. Uh, is it, if this is correct, uh, the, the Greek embassy in, in Bangladesh, in Dhaka, is, is included in the Italian embassy. So sometimes uh, they have some joint, joint mm -hmm. embassy, uh, European country. So this is something that you should know in case in some country is not existing the Greek embassy is because they must probably allocate it inside in another embassy from another European country part of the EU. Greece is part of the EU, so this is important for you to understand. Is possible to work in Greece? Uh, this is a question that many students ask me, Sandra. Is possible to work in Greece? It is possible to work in Greece. Uh, if you are a student, you can work up to uh, at least 20, I think up to 40 uh, Up hours. to 20 hours, up to up 20. 20. So but here. but this means that that as you have said, after you get your visa, you have to apply after you arrive in Greece, you have to apply for the residence permit. Only if you have the residence permit, which is a procedure that all students have to follow, you can have access to the work uh, to the to jobs, not only with a visa. So this is very important for all of you to know that. Uh, your students, when they arrive in Greece, uh, um, they have the opportunity after logic, they get the residence to work as well. So they will earn some money. And there, as you all know, Greece is a tourist destination. So there's a lot of work available um, during the, the summer season, which is usually six months between May until the end of October. Uh, many students, they work in hotels, in restaurants, uh, and um, in shops. Uh, so this is something that uh, you should uh, consider as a selling point as well when you talk to your students. Um, and um, 
is a beautiful country, Greece. You all know about Greece. I don't have to explain you what is Greece. And this is something very important for you to, to check. Go on Google, learn a bit of, about Greece, your students as well, because some of the question will be as well, why did you choose Greece and not uh, another country like uh, Switzerland or Germany? Why Greece? So your students should be able to answer these questions. So this is a very important point that I want to point out in refer of the school. We, we speak about the fee, we speak about, we spoke about um, the, the commission, about the different program one more time. I just want to show you one more time what kind of bachelor they are available, just that they are not confused on this is an LL, LLB in European law, is a BA in European Governance and a BA in European Law and Government Governance Study. This is a three years bachelor, like in the UK, so that uh, you know that this is a three years undergraduate program. Students uh, who are not eligible to enter directly in the bachelor, they can enter in the foundation program directly. For the country like Kenya, which the main language is English, there is no problem. I presume they can share a document that, that they speak English, et cetera. So I don't yeah, think- I just said can... that, yes. yes, uh, yes. Can... So there is, should not be any problem for them. We have a lot of African students in Greece uh, and they study in many universities. So there we have students from India as well. Students from everywhere in the world study in Greece. Greece has now become a very popular destination for international students coming from Europe and outside Europe. The living Sorry, part. Okay. Yeah. The living part. Much. Please, please, Sandra. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt by mistake. Ah, uh, the living cost in Greece, uh, I mean, uh, it's quite um, standard uh, as many places in Europe. Uh, but uh, you can live uh, with, um, let's say, with about uh, 600, 800 euros per month uh, to have an idea if then they work a little bit. Uh, so the cost is quite okay. I mean, uh, logically, if you go every weekend in the disco and you spend a lot of money in restaurant, et cetera, it's different, but I'm talking about the student life, uh, 600, 800 euros per month, it's more than enough. Uh, just to give an idea, there are students who manage usually as well with 400, 500 euro. It depends always from every person, you know. Uh, I have three kids as well. One spend a lot of money, another one do not spend, and the one in the middle. So it always depends from kids to kids. Uh, we cannot say anything about this. Uh, the, the All the courses are in English, uh, just so that you know. And again, for the foundation, you need only 4.0 on IELTS or equivalent, similar. So it can be Cambridge, TOEFL, Duolingo, whatever. So you have a lot of different opportunity. I will do a follow-up, yes. Richard, we, they need to, uh, I saw just one question that we might have not covered. Yes, please. Uh, they will need to do a contract with the school, especially, especially for this year. And usually we renew the contract every year if uh, conditions change this year. It is beneficial for the agents, so I believe that um, one has all the reasons to go on with the contact. Yes. After the uh, after this workshop, I will do a follow-up email. I will send a copy of the contract, which you need to sign on every single page, put a stamp on every single page, and make a PDF and send this back. Do not send photocopies. Do not send photos made by WhatsApp. But uh, stamp, print out, sign, stamp every page, put the stamp of your company. Do not send me an email, I don't have a stamp. I don't know how to answer this question. Sometimes I receive an email, uh, we don't have a stamp. Okay, you go and you organize a stamp, make a stamp, and then you stamp because the law in Greece is like this. They need every single page to be signed, put a stamp on, create a PDF, and send it back to Sandra. Very simple. So Sandra can follow up and can make this sign and send this back directly to you. Very, very simple. So I think uh, this is it from my side. Maybe Sandra, you want to add some more point? Um, 
We are here uh, via email to answer any of your questions. Um, I will uh, write down my message and my email here so you can uh, see it. But uh, um, please try to um, cope with uh, the online application form. Um, and we will be at your disposal and just take, take into consideration that we might have a one day delay to respond. Uh, usually uh, on Saturdays we do not, uh, we are not in function, uh, but we all, always try to accommodate as soon as possible. Fantastic, this is very important. Uh, gap, uh, something we did not discuss is about gap. Anyway, if there are any questions, just put the question on chat system. Eh? To everyone, there is a chat system, put your question down so we are able to answer you. There is no gap. I mean, uh, if a student uh, for the bachelor, usually we suggest maximum 25, 27 years old. But if someone wants to do a master, he can be 42 years old as well, or 45. There is absolutely no problem. And uh, so there is no age limit in, in Greece. Uh, as well, gap is accept acceptable. Logically, it's always important to prepare a curriculum. So when you apply the students, uh, if he's in, in an older age, uh, just prepare a curriculum so that the school will see exactly what the candidate did during this time. And as well, in case the embassy is asking uh, what they did during this time, it's very important that they are able to uh, reply uh, in a correct way. Ask the students to prepare a curriculum if he's over 30 to make a long story short, uh, so that uh, the, the school is clear and as well the embassy is very clear. Maybe some students work in a bank for five years, eight years, or by a lawyer, or by the govern government in the home country. So it's important to create a curriculum so that everything is very, very clear. Um, again, we received this question, how many years study gap accepted? Uh, the school accepts students. There is no need to, there are no gap, uh, 10 years, five years, they accept students. Uh, so the important is to prepare a curriculum. And so that the school can see exactly what the student did uh, since they finish uh, the school or the foundation or the bachelor, et cetera. So very, very important, especially for master, create a curriculum and ask as well for one reference letter is always helpful. If your student has one reference letter, it's always helpful. If they don't have it, it's okay, but I suggest as a specialist to ask for one reference letter. This help as well for the visa process. If there are more questions, um, students, let's see, for Portugal, um, is there PR for the after studying? Uh, okay, we're talking about Portugal, we should talk a little bit more about Portugal. Portugal is only offer one master, one master only, okay? And uh, usually um, when students study in Portugal, they have the possibility to stay six months back in Portugal when they are there. Logically, if a student will find a job during the time when they are studied there, then it's welcome for them to, to remain in Portugal. But here we're talking about the school. The school is offering one master. The master costs 4,900 euro. And the master is, uh, maybe can you show me the master for Portugal one more time, please, Sandra? <clears throat> so that we can share this. Yes, uh, fantastic. So this is a LLM in global rule of law. This is very important. It's written here in details uh, and uh, start in October 2020 for and as well October 2025. Just for your information, the fee is 4,900, your commission is 20%. You, the, it's still open, you can still apply your students. The conditions are always the same. When you apply the students online, you need to pay 50 euro for the registration fee. When you apply, make the payment on the same day so that everything is very, very clear. Please follow the credibility questionnaire we will send to you. Study this, share this with your students. Make sure that they are they know in details about uh, the questions they will be asked for. 
is very important. Make sure that your students, when they have the interview, are there on time as well. If it's 11 o'clock, they should be there at 10.50. All the interview will be done via Zoom. So make sure that your students know how to put the camera on, how to put the microphone on. Make sure there is no noise in the room. Make sure there is an excellent internet connection. Make sure there's no people in the room. All this you have to explain to your students, all these points. These are very important for a successful interview and uh, you get the students going to Portugal or to Greece, uh, you get your commission end of the day and uh, it's a win-win for everyone. Sandra? For, for the Portuguese uh, degree, uh, take into and also for the monsters in Athens, uh, all of the degrees requiring uh, going to legal to the legal path, they need a background in legal studies. All the degrees that refer to the legal path, they need a background in legal studies. So both uh, the LLM in uh, European law or the, the LLM in uh, Global Rule of Law and Democracy, they do need a background in legal studies. Yes. In refer of Portugal, the entry requirement, the English language requirement, the course is in English. And now Sandra will share uh, one more time the entry requirement for Portugal. The entry requirement, the English level is 5.5, uh, TOEFL online minimum score 83, Cambridge um, uh, minimum score 176, Duolingo minimum score 90, PSO minimum score 58, Everything is written here in detail and I will do a follow-up email and I will send you a copy of the entry requirement for the degree program in Portugal and in Greece. Back to Portugal, yes, this is the only one master, only one, nothing else. So it's difficult to do a mistake. It's an LLM in global rule of law. One master, only one, start in October 24 and October 2025. The price is 4,900. Your commission is 20%. When you apply the students, you have to pay 50 euro. That's it. And uh, there is, uh, yes, again, I repeat one more time. The program starts in Portugal in October 2024 and in October 2025. One time per year in October, one time per year. And uh, where should Nepalese students apply for visa for Portugal? I presume they should apply at the, in the Portuguese. Yes, the, the Portuguese. Portuguese embassy. This is a standard. Uh, and uh, the Portuguese embassy, if it's not available in your home country, then it should be available in the country near you. So in case of Nepal, I presume that uh, you have to go to India. Now, where the location is, we have to check this in detail. So again, there was some question about the LLM, if they need IELTS. As uh, I will show this one more time, they need IELTS or TOEFL or Cambridge or Pearson. Everything is written here in details. So it's written IELTS minimum score or TOEFL or Cambridge or Duolingo or Pearson, etc. So everything is clear, it's here written. So I invite everyone to read the detail of the PowerPoint presentation, which I will send to you, which is exactly this one in front of us. So it's important that you will go through everything here. And it's, it's, it's very simple in, in the end. There is the foundation starting February 2025, cost 4,000 euro. And uh, this is uh, the reason why we start so early now is because we need about four to five months to get the visa for Greece. So you can start to apply your students now, July, August, so, so that in September will be done the interview from the staff. This is very important. Follow the instruction that we explain to you. This is uh, fundamental in order to move on with uh, the application for Greece. So I'm happy to hear that some of the agents already have some students available for Portugal. And uh, 
um, you are more than happy to start to apply the students on the link we will send to you. So we do not know as a school if your student has a visa, tourist visa, work visa, et cetera, et cetera, if they can change this in a job visa, on a student visa, you need to evaluate this with your visa agency or with the Portuguese embassy directly. We are here to represent the school, which is, is, a, is a school located in Greece and in Portugal. We are not a visa agency and we are not an embassy who can evaluate case by case of every single student's uh, uh, situation in the home country. So I think, Sandra, if you want to add one more thing, uh, or you, Mrs. Panoraya, you're more than welcome. I'm OK. I think uh, we are, we are Almost, covered. Yeah. We are all covered. We explain everything. So I want to thank everyone to join us here. I will do one more workshop in September on the first or second week of September, we speak with Sandra, with Panoraya, and we will decide for the date and or even two more workshops, what is needed to make sure that you will start to send students to Greece and to Portugal. We will do this in September. So maybe if you have some questions or you already apply some students, you have some questions, we do a follow up, we assist you. You need any help for the visa, uh, for the embassy, you can always send an email to Sandra or to Mrs. Panoraya so that they can follow up with you directly. Again, I will do a follow up email to everyone and uh, it will include the contract, please sign, stamp on every page, send this back uh, and start to apply students. Good luck for your selling point. Sandra, thank you very much. Uh, Mrs. Panoraya, thank you very much. Uh, always a pleasure to welcome you here. Thank you for the 54 agents who stay with Thank you. All Thank the time you very now. much. Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. And I'm looking forward to welcome you in some more workshop. Have a great day. You take care and good health. Bye. Thank you, please. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.